Abraham's family had grown into a nation, the nation of Israel. And at the beginning of the book of Exodus, the people of Israel grew and grew and grew until Egypt was full of them. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, did not like the Israelites. Pharaoh said there were too many Israelites. So Pharaoh made the Israelites his slaves. He forced them to make bricks. He treated God's people badly. But the harder Pharaoh made the Israelites work, the bigger the Israelites grew. Pharaoh wanted to stop the Israelites from growing. So he decided to kill the Israelite baby boys. He ordered every baby boy be thrown into the river. The Israelites were very, very sad. One Israelite woman had a baby boy. She called him Moses. Moses was very beautiful. She tried to hide him from Pharaoh's soldiers. But when he was too big to hide, she painted a basket with tar so that the basket would float. She put Moses in the basket and put the basket in the river. The mother told Moses' sister to watch the basket, to watch her baby brother. One day, Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river. She came with her servants. She saw the basket floating on the river and she asked her servants to bring the basket to her. She opened the basket and saw the baby. She felt sorry for him. Moses' sister went up and asked, Do you want me to get an Israelite woman to look after the baby? Pharaoh's daughter said yes. So Moses' sister ran and got her mother. Moses' mother took him home and looked after him. And when Moses was bigger, he went to live with Pharaoh's daughter. Children, Abraham's family grew into a great nation, just like God had promised. Pharaoh did not like God's people. He tried to hurt the Israelites. But there was one baby God would not let Pharaoh hurt, Moses. God protected Moses so that one day Moses would grow up and save God's people, the Israelites. Just like God protected another baby, Jesus, so that he could grow up and save us all.